Cleaning your Woodstone vertical rotisserie is really simple. The first step is to pull the plug in the back and allow the water to drain. The next step would be to remove your burner reflectors on the left side, remove the burner reflector on the right, and also grab the drain plug. Depending on what you're cooking, these will sometimes have more buildup than other times. Uh, oftentimes you'll need to go, come in and scrape it. Sometimes just sending it through the dish machine is enough. Check to make sure that the burner jets on your center flame post are all clear. If you notice significant buildup on your center burner, you can remove it. It will be hot. So grab a towel and lift up. I would recommend scraping off any excess buildup with a scraper tool like this and then you can send the rest to the dish machine. With your burner cover removed, you may notice some buildup at the base of the burner. You can again take your scraper tool and clean that area up as well. Remove any excess debris and then wipe it down with a towel. Next, I'm gonna clean the inside of the chamber. If you notice a lot of larger debris on the floor, start by removing that so we don't send it down the drain and clog the joint. Next, I'll take a bucket of soapy water with a non-abrasive sponge, and I'm just going to go in the back, wipe down any grease that I see splattered up on the walls. After I've wiped the walls and removed most of the debris, I'm going to come in with some clean water and rinse off the soap. So we've just finished washing the walls. Next we're going to flush all of the dirty water out of the floor of the chamber. I'm pouring my clean water here as well. And we're just going to keep moving everything back towards the drain until we have a clean floor. We can use our water drip to help us cycle clean water into the unit at this time as well. If you find that the rotisserie is not properly leveled, you might find that the water wants to come towards the front of the chamber. Having a simple squeegee can help push water back towards the drain. So I've pretty much finished cleaning up the chamber here. After several uses, you might notice a little bit of buildup of grease along the chamber. There's some debris back here on the wall. Using any sort of uh, simple degreaser meant for stainless steel, commercial kitchen use would work just great. Uh, you might find from time to time, using a little bit of that will work just fine. With the non-abrasive side of a sponge, I'm gonna come in here and wipe this degreaser off. Always refer to the instructions on whatever degreaser you're using. That's getting some of that off of there really nicely. All right, and once again with a bucket of clean water here, I'm gonna come in and wipe this degreaser off and make sure we flush all of it out of the chamber before we cook anything. As you're cleaning the inside of the rotisserie, there are a couple of things to keep in mind that are imperative to the longevity of the life of your unit. Do not let water come in contact with the infrared burners, and do not wipe down the burners with towels of any kind. In addition, avoid contact, wiping, or water of any kind on the igniter at the top of the burner. If you notice any buildup that may be causing problems, please call Woodstone Service for advice. While you're cleaning the chamber, do not wipe down or get water on the center flame post. Do not wipe down or get water on the center flame post cover as well. If you notice any buildup in the burner jets themselves, do not attempt to clean the jets yourself. These jets should be removed and cleaned individually by a gas technician. Please call Woodstone Service for advice. You will also see jets at the base of the burner. If you notice buildup that might require further cleaning, do not attempt to do so. Please call Woodstone Service for advice. Now that we've finished cleaning the chamber, we're going to put back our burner cover and the burner reflectors. Always make sure that when you put the cover back on, the holes line up with the jets 
we don't want to put it on backwards and block the jets like that. So again, just like we took it off, it goes over the top, slides right down over the burners. Make sure it makes good contact with the base. Next, we're going to put our clean burner reflectors back on the left side and the right side. And lastly, we put the drain plug back in the drain, snug so that water will not leak out of the bottom. Now that we've finished cleaning the interior of the rotisserie, we're going to work on detailing the outside. First thing I like to do is make sure our glass stays nice and clean. You can use any good quality commercial glass cleaner. I've got this spray cleaner right now. You can use a foam cleaner if you'd like. I'm just going to come in here. Make sure we're getting the grease off. I like to use a soft cloth when I'm cleaning the glass. An abrasive scratch pad will scratch your glass. <sighs> Lastly, I'll just come in here, make sure the outside of the glass is clean as well. If you notice any grease or splatter on the exterior of the unit, I just like to use any kitchen surface cleaner. A little bit of spraying around the edges, along the bottom as well. Avoid spraying directly onto the control buttons on the front. You can always wipe around them later. This cleaning procedure should be done nightly after a day's worth of cooking. 